Hey, hello guys, welcome back. In this video, we'll be talking about our next project that is on Delta Lake using Databricks with PySpy. Okay, so uh, I have designed this architecture of the project and we will be working on this architecture only. Okay, so first we understand what type of data we are going to deal with. So we are going to deal with Formula F1 race data. You might have heard about this term or this competition called Formula F1 where you know a multiple multiple cars or we can say multiple races happen every year in the foreign countries. Okay, so here if you can see that we have you no know, multiple sources. We have Azure SQL source. We have uh, you know we have Data Lake Gen2 source. If you can see over here, let me just zoom in so that you will understand. Yep. So you can see over here that we have you know we have these sources azure sql api data lake gen 2 uh, right and the sources are you know the we have this different kind of uh, different type different kind of data we are getting from the sources so first source is api we are we will be getting the teams data you know in in a competition we have dif different kind of teams right different teams we have it so from api we will we will be fetching we will be fetching a team's data using uh, with with, uh, with json format right and then we have result data that is in dot packet format and it is present in the gen2 storage layer or sorry we can say gen2 data lake layer okay then we have race data we have it is it is present in csv format and it is also present in gen2 then we have circuit data circuit data is a path you know where the race happens so uh, this is the circuit and uh, this is also present in csv SV format and present in the Gen2 layer. Then we have constructor that is the data present in Excel format with different sheet and that data is present in blob storage. So we will be fetching the data from blob storage to our our layer. Then we have driver CSV. Then we have qualifying that is a table format and the data present in Azure SQL. Apart from this, you can see over here that you know we have it is top csv gen 2 data the, the data uh, format is csv and present in gen 2 storage layer or the data lake then we have over here a lip lab times txt file um, yeah so we have lab time that is that is present in a txt format and present in the gen 2 layer now you can you can see over here that i have written something like both batch processing as well as spark structure streaming so if you can see over there here we have pit stop data right so we will be trying to achieve or we will be trying to use here a spark streaming uh, process you know to fetch the data in a real time scenarios and apart from this everything like you know this we have api we have this gen to result race cut circuit that that we will be doing a batch processing on daily basis cool uh, yeah after that you know now these all are the sources okay these all are the sources now uh, what we will do we will be fetching these sources these data from the sources using python script or using pyspy is, is, is script now let's say for api we will be using python to fetch the data but to you know to read the data from this gen2 containers blob container we will be using pyspark code so what we will do we will you know we will copy all these sources into our our gen2 layer okay in the form of delta so that is in a raw layer so raw layer means we will not do anything we just you know copy the same thing and put it over here in the in the raw layer right okay after this uh, you know we will have a cleanse or we can say silver layer where we will be removing duplicates removing nulls checking the data type and other activity we will be per performing in this layer that is also on top of delta lake and we will be saving in different container okay and we will be using you, you we will be uh, re removing a duplicate or you know removing nulls using PySpark code then after cleansing the data doing some you know checks and other stuff then we will publish the data into our gold layer okay and here we will be we will be writing our business logic aggregated data let's say we create some dimension we create some fact tables and so on and we put the final data into this layer and we have we will be also using here PySpark, you know to achieve the result okay cool 
and then uh, at last what we will be doing we will be sending a data files to our end users so for an example what what it, what it means that you know if you have taken my previous project that i have then i have used uh, their logic app to send the data files to our end users but in this case i will be using python script to send the data files to our end users only like let's say we have created some fact table and sub dimension table now a user want that data in their outlook or in their gmail box G gmail inbox box right so uh, since we we have only database to achieve the result so i cannot use logic app over here right so that's why i will be using a python script to send the same thing you know uh, uh, same 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 thing right after that since we have you know multiple notebooks we have multiple layers and so on so on then we will be using databricks workflow to schedule the pipelines or to schedule the jobs okay and uh, yeah that's it and i also want to show you something else so let me just you know uh, minimize it now you can see i have written the same thing like you know we have the source data result the circuits and so on so on then type of data is this so systems are these and frequencies are you know all these are batch processing but this data source which is pit stop that is in a streaming format okay apart from this if you see this data you know i have already created these data sets and it is present in my local system i will be providing these data set to you so first you have to you know uh, first you have to put these data data into the locations res respective locations uh, respective sources and then we will be trying to start our project cool so i hope you are clear with this architecture and if you do not know databricks pyspark or even know python i would suggest to learn uh, functions in python okay how we can you know uh, create a functions with return value with non return value understand what what is list what is dictionary what is set what is tuple what how we can iterate the loop okay and uh, yeah i mean all those things it is required and in pyspark you should know what is avro file what is csv file what is pykit files and other stuff so if you know the basics if you know everything about you know database or you know just basic thing or if if you know then you can start this project otherwise you won't understand that you know what is happening happening over here i would also recommend to learn a basic knowledge i mean basic thing of api what is api what are the other methods of api let's say we have get, get method we have put method to update the something we have post method to post something in, into the database in the back end database and we have get method to fetch the or we, we can say just to read the data from the api and how we can you know call this using some python script so just you know just you you should have some idea uh, what is api apart from this i believe that you know everything and if you do not know also spark structure streaming concept then i would suggest to go to my video or go to any other blog or other any other video on youtube learn what is spark structure streaming and then you can start this project okay i hope that you have understood this uh, this architecture and we will be starting the project soon thank you bye bye